All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. We're here for the second annual live uh, draw for the South Dakota Amateur Baseball Tournament. We've got the uh, commissioners up front that will be doing the, the draw. Um, actually, the vice president of the association is Rock Rock Fellow. Herb Sundahl is the secretary treasurer, and Brock Sundahl is the commissioner from, I believe it's District 3, the Pony Hills League. We're about to get going here. Um, I'm joined by the real deal, Ryan Deal. This is Brock Greenfield, and we're going to bring you all the all the draft um, or all the the pairings. Um, should mention, and I'm guessing that they'll touch on it too. <clears throat> As we go, there are certain uh, pairings that can't take place. So. Just because two teams are drawn out, that doesn't mean that it's set in stone until the last uh, draw has been, has been made. So I'll let uh, Herb and Rock and Brock take it over from here. Thank you, Brock. As Brock said, my name is Herb Sundahl, and I'm the Secretary Treasurer of the Association. I'd first of all like to thank Jody Brozick from winter for live streaming this event so all of the people that are sitting out there watching can see it. Uh, present in the room today are representatives of each of our seven Class B districts as well as several commissioners. Uh, those who will be conducting the draw are our Vice President Richard Rockefeller to my immediate right and District 3 Commissioner Brock Sundahl and myself. And at this time, I want to review the procedure that we will use today in conducting the draw. Step one, we draw all the district champions for every fourth spot as we have done in the past. This separates the district champions and guarantees they won't play each other until the third round. Step two, we place the rep one team from the first district tramp drawn and insert it in game 16B, which is the former eighth champion spot. Step three, we place all the district runner-ups from the leagues that place champions in the bottom portion of the bracket and draw them out for the possibility to play in games one through eight. This would separate the district champions from the same district runner-up in the bracket. In other words, they would not play each other until the championship game if they both made it that far. Step four, we place all the district runner-ups from the leagues that place champions in the top portion of the bracket and draw them out for the possibility to play in games 9 through 16. This would again separate the district champions from the same district runner-ups in the bracket. All of these district champions and runner-ups are then locked into their drawn bracket spots and they will not be switched. Again, champions and rep ones, after they're drawn out, they're in concrete. Anybody else is subject to possibly being moved. And that gets us to step five. Starting at the top of the bracket with game one, we'll start drawing out teams to be placed in the next available <coughs> bracket slot. Teams are placed as drawn unless a same league matchup occurs. If a same league team is drawn, it's put back in the bucket and a new team is drawn to fill that spot. If a same league team is drawn, as I said, it's, it's put back in the bucket and a new team is drawn. If we get to the last games and the same league teams are still not drawn to be placed in the bracket, they will be drawn as far as possible and until a same league matchup occurs. If this happens, the last team drawn will be switched with the first possible matchup above, except a district champion and runner-up will not be moved. But it is possible their opponent could change. These two teams would then be switched then the draw will continue. If the above scenario occurs again, the second team drawn will be switched with the next possible matchup above the prior switched match, or prior switched team. 
We will fill the games in order. We will not skip an open spot. And due to the fact that most leagues have numerous teams represented, it is very likely this could occur. By doing this, it will ensure that teams will not play teams from their same league in the first round. Rock will be drawing the chips out. If he happens to draw two at once, he'll just put them both back and draw again, just like we did last year. Last year we had slips of paper and it was more difficult for him to make sure he had only one. Hopefully with the chips it'll be a little easier. Time will tell. So that's the procedure. We would ask for quiet in the room so that the live stream viewers can hear as we announce the draw. Also, if you do not like the procedure, you certainly may propose changes for next year, but not today, as we will follow the procedures I read as those have been approved by the Amateur Baseball Commission for this year. Once the Class B draw is completed, we will also give you the A brackets that we have. So I think we're ready to start. First thing we'll do is we'll put all the district champions in, in, the, in the bucket. <laughs> so this will be for game 2B. 3 Plot Bankers. Plank. All right, in 2B, when I say A, I mean top of the bracket. When I say B, I mean bottom of the bracket. So this is in game 2 a, two, excuse me, 2B, and that's the Plank, Plankington Bankers. There are two Plankington teams, so we have to identify some of them by their, uh, their second name. The next champion drawn. District 1, Milbank. Is for game 4B, and that's Milbank. So 4B will be Milbank. B. Champions are always the home team. The next draw. In the first round. They're the yeah, home in team. The, first round. the next draw will be for 6B. Five champ, Alex. Alexandria will go into 6B. 6B up here. For those watching, I've asked Jody whenever I, we get to go a little too fast to hold up his hand and we'll pause till they get caught up entering the teams. We're good to go. The next champion to be drawn is 8B. <coughs> Game 8B. District 6, why not? Why not? The District 6 champion. <coughs> That completes the top bracket for champions. You got to draw the rest of the champs out. This one will be in game 10B. District 4, Humboldt Hartford Gamecocks. 